Hello students, so in this video I am going to give you some examples of solving direct proportion problems. So direct proportion problems I have given one example already of cone heights and diameter ratio. Height is proportional to diameter in case of cone. So similarly in this video I am going to give you the gear method, gear system. Here the number of teeth is proportional to diameter. As the diameter increases, the number of teeth, that is, these are marked teeth, are depending on the diameter of the wheel. So let's take one simple example. In a gear and wheel system, the diameter of larger wheel is 15 centimeter. It is given here. The diameter of larger wheel is 15 centimeter and 10 centimeter respectively. Smaller wheel is 10 centimeter diameter of smaller wheel is 10 centimeter if the number of teeth in larger wheel is 25 the number of teeth in larger wheel is 25 find the number of teeth in smaller wheel we have to calculate small t so as we know it is a direct proportional relation between the diameter and number of teeth number of teeth directly proportional to diameter so hence i have taken capital D is to small d equals capital T is to small t. Capital D in the first position, capital T in the first position, second first position, capital D in the second, small d in the second position, small t in the second position. So capital D is 15, small d is 10, capital D is 25 and small t we have to be calculated. Just multiply the extremes, 15 with t, we get 15 t in the left hand side of the equation. 10 into 25 in the right hand side of the equation then t becomes 25 into 10 divided by 15 15 5 divides 15 3 times 25 5 times and 50 5 into 10 it becomes 50 50 divided by 3 it is almost 16.66 but number of teeth we have to consider the round figure and teeth in the smaller wheel becomes 16 so this problem is solved in the direct proportion method. Let's take one more example of this direct proportion where we have to calculate the diameter. In a gear and wheel system, larger wheel and smaller wheels have 30 teeth and 20 teeth respectively. The teeth on the larger wheel is 30, teeth on the smaller wheel are 20. And the diameter of larger wheel is given that is 10 centimeter find the diameter of smaller wheel that is we have to find the small d as we know number of teeth is directly proportional to diameter it is a direct proportional problem we have the equation capital d is to small d equals capital t is to small t capital d in the first position capital t in the first position small d in the first position small t in the second position so 10 is to d equals 30 is to 20 so 10 is to d we have to multiply the extreme and mean d into 30 30 d equals 10 into 20 in the right hand side we have to keep it d is equal to 10 into 20 divided by 30 so 10 cancels 10 into 2 20 20 divided by 3 we get the diameter of smaller wheel 16.33 centimeter in this way, we can solve the direct proportional problems of gear and wheel axis, gear and wheel axis and ratio problems. So, in the next video, I am going to give you the inverse proportional problems in different method of solving. Friends, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.